In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can synchronize your internal and external audio to a single video clip in Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna start right now. So for this to work, all we'll need is just two simple things. The first thing we're gonna need is a video clip with audio attached. Let's call this our internal audio. It should sound something like this, genuinely terrible. Echoey, just doesn't sound very good. Now what we'll need is some kind of external audio source. Now I'm using an XLR microphone, which isn't compatible with most cameras, as you can imagine. The XLR adapter is gigantic and most cameras have a 3.5 mil a jack, which lets you connect smaller microphones like lavaliers, for example. So we're gonna need some kind of external audio recorder, which is what I've got here. This is a Zoom PodTrack P4. And as you can see, XLR adapter plugs in directly to the top. Again, the problem we've got is this isn't compatible with most cameras, so somehow we're gonna to have to sync it in post. And that's why we're gonna be using the auto-synchronize feature in Premiere Pro. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead, open Premiere Pro, and then import your two new audio tracks to your timeline. So as you can see, I've got my video track with my internal audio, so we quickly listen to it now. As you can see, Sounds quite bad. So what we're gonna do is now attach it to my external audio, which you can see that one's in blue. And then we've got my external audio, got clean audio. It's auto as you can see in green. So all we need to do is simply match the two. So what you want to do is select both of them, right click, and we're gonna go ahead and choose synchronize. Now inside synchronize, we've got start clip, end clip, time code, clip marker, and then we've got audio. That's the one we want to select because we obviously want to synchronize the audio. We don't want to use the start or end clip, it's the audio we're mostly focusing on. Then we want to go ahead and select track channel. We're gonna go ahead and select track one. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And as you can see, immediately snaps to that timeline. So all you'll need to do is right click. I'm gonna go and choose unlink because we want, what we want to do is remove that crappy audio. We don't need it anymore. Go ahead and select that audio. We're gonna go and delete that. Gonna bring that audio up, making sure you don't move it at all because otherwise then it's not synced. Then you want to select the both, so the video and your new external audio, right click on that, and then we're gonna go ahead and link it up again. Then what we can do is play it back. And there we go guys, as you can see, that is super easy to synchronize your audio. As you can see, we've now synchronized it. Now you might run into a couple of problems. Synchronize works in some cases, but not others. The main reason why it doesn't work is because of clip length. Annoyingly, for some reason, Premiere Pro will only allow you to synchronize audio if it's longer than 30 seconds long. If it's shorter than that, it may work, but it won't work very well. Sometimes it might be off by a couple of seconds or it might not work at all. You might come up with an error code. Another reason why it might not work is all to do with your clean audio. Let's say you've recorded in a quite a busy room and there's lots of people talking, but you want to like you've recorded one person specifically and you try and match it with your internal audio of your camera, it may not work, it might be a little bit too confusing. So in that specific instance, I would do of what the industry calls a clap sync. Now a clap sync does two things. Firstly, it is quite loud, and especially if it's near a microphone, will create a large spike in your audio. Another thing we'll do is a visual thing. So once you hit, it's a very quick sound. So when, you, when your hands come together, you know that's when the clap is. And I've actually done one in this audio to show you. So what we can do is zoom in. You can see there is a large spike in our audio. So all you'll, all you'll need to do, let's um, unlink this, for example. So we quickly unlink that, and let's move them away. Now they're not matched together, together at all, but we can see when our hands come together, so we can move frame by frame to where our hands are linked. Then all you'll need to do is take that audio, and as you can see, we've got a spike just here, drag that over to where our hands come together. Then all I need to do is play it back, and as you can see, it's that easy. So if it doesn't automatically work, there are a few manual things that you can do to make sure your audio is synced. Brilliant, and there we go, guys. As you can see, that is super easy to synchronize your audio. As long as your clip is longer than 30 seconds long and you've got clean audio, the auto-synchronize feature in Premiere Pro works really, really well. Of course, if your clips are shorter or you don't have the cleanest audio, I always recommend doing a clap sync. It makes it really easy to synchronize your audio manually if you need to. But of course, that auto synchronize feature is always there for you. I've been James for Video Fever, and I'll catch you guys next time.